All right, I'm gonna try this in one take. Hello, Nicholas Sperling here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're doing well. I'm personally not, and that's okay, I guess, but I do feel like crap, and I want to explain why I'm doing my video this week in one take. That's because I simply do not have the ability to look at screens right now. I feel absolutely awful, and this goes back to my previous video where I talked about being misdiagnosed. So I was misdiagnosed as bipolar and I do have depression, but I was given both mood stabilizers and antidepressants. The antidepressants in particular do not sit well with me and they did when I got onto them, but coming off of them has been absolutely awful. I've been trying to come off of my medication to basically give myself a reset because my psychiatrist misdiagnosed me, the medication just wasn't working very well and that's essentially what I'm trying to do. So I was hoping that after a couple weeks of not being on medication, I would feel back to normal, but apparently not. At the moment, I think it's still related to the withdrawal, but I do have fears that maybe it has to do with something else. So I'm just sort of taking it one day at a time. Yesterday, I spent essentially the entire day in bed trying to recover. It's really frustrating. There's so much that I want to do. Normally, I am a very busy person. I have a lot of things on the go, and that just hasn't been happening right now because of the fact that I haven't been feeling well. I've been doing the absolute bare minimum, which means keeping up with my work as best I can. I'm not really able to get much more done than that. I ended up getting myself a nice smoothie machine. So I've been trying to make myself healthy smoothies and thinking, well, maybe it's a diet related thing. I don't have the best diet. Part of my mental health issues are um, they express themselves in terms of my diet. So I thought, well, maybe if I make myself some healthier food, this will help. It, it doesn't. If anything, eating makes the dizziness and nausea that I've been experiencing worse. So I'm still trying to figure out what I can do about all of this. Um, I'm hoping that this goes away soon, but for the time being, this week's video is going to be one take, assuming I don't screw this up too badly. Um, my apartment is an absolute mess. I've been wanting to renovate it. My life feels like a mess because of that, which is partly why I wanna renovate it. I wanna make my place just a nicer environment. Often when I walk through my front door, I feel this sense of doom and depression. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that I've been in this place for uh, about seven years. I've never got it looking the way I want it to look. I've never really been able to maintain it the way that I want to maintain it. And part of that is because I run a construction company out of my 600 square foot apartment. If you've run a construction company, if you know anything about construction, there are a lot of tools involved. <laughs> so I ended up building a workshop in my apartment, in the place of my dining room. For the first year, it was a room to rent out because I had almost no money, so I needed a roommate. Then it became my tool storage. And now I want to get rid of that room entirely, bring it back to a dining room, but in order to do that, I have to renovate my trailer. Renovate sort of a strong word. I have to put shelving up in my trailer so that I can take all of the things from over in that room, put them in the trailer. Then I want to also get my van in a good state so that I can take that out traveling. It's not quite as interlinked. So I probably have a little bit more time when it comes to that. But this room is a big one for me. I want to get the room built and I want to get my apartment into a place that feels livable, that feels comfortable, and that's hopefully not going to affect my mental health negatively. And I don't, I don't assume that doing this is going to change my mental health completely. Depression, anxiety, um, possibly ADHD, because that's the new diagnosis. Those are the kinds of things that don't just go away when you change your environment. But I'm hoping that at least the environment can help me to manage my mental health. So that's a big piece of what's going on at the moment and the fact that I'm sick right now and that I can't work on that and that my apartment's becoming more and more of a disaster and I can't have people over really to help because of COVID. All of those things are just compounding and are putting me in a pretty poor mental state at the moment. Um, 
I hope that the dizziness and nausea that I'm experiencing goes away because it's really affected my ability to do anything. Like I said, I was bedridden all of yesterday. Uh, I don't know how interested anyone is in hearing this, but I did feel like I wanted to make a video to explain why I'm not putting out my usual video. Seems kind of strange. You would think maybe I should just not put out a video. I committed to putting out one video a week for two years. And then at the end of those two years, I wanted to see where I was. And I wanted to see if people appreciated the videos, if my video editing skills had gotten to the point where I can make this sort of a, a reality of, of an ongoing channel. So I've been doing this for about a year and a half now, and I don't actually have any intention of stopping at the two year mark. However, lately I've been thinking about it a little bit more because of where my mental health is. So if you're watching this video, if you like my videos, I would really appreciate it if you would comment and let me know what it is you like about them because one, it's, it, it'll probably make me feel better, but also I, I just want to know what kind of content you would like to see from me in the future, because even though I'm only going to put out content that I enjoy making, uh, aside from this video, I suppose, um, I do want to make sure that I'm putting out content that you want to see and that's helpful for you, because my main goal in, in most of what I do is to try to help people, and I don't want to seem like some sort of you know, white savior, whatever you want to refer to, to folks like that as. But I literally just want to do anything that I can to make other people's lives a little bit better. I don't think I have the power to make a significant amount of change, but all change is valuable, positive change that is. And I think everyone should feel like they deserve to be comfortable in their skin and in a lot of ways, I think that I've progressed to the point of being comfortable in who I am. And I found some good ways of being the person that I want to be. And maybe other people can get some value out of me sharing my story. That's really all that's that this channel is about. Um, so I want to get back to making good content. The other issue that I have is I do absolutely everything myself. If you follow me on social media and you see how much is going on, a lot of people think I have a team behind me and I don't. I don't have really anyone helping me. The only place where I have people helping me, at least that I can think of, and I'm sorry if you're someone who helps me and, and I'm not thinking of you in this moment, um, but at least with people that help me with my work, it's uh, my friends on uh, Four Layer Quip, the podcast that I talked about not too long ago. Those are the only people that are really putting in the work alongside me. And that podcast hasn't even started yet. So you haven't even seen any of that. But with regard to everything else, it's all me. And it's a lot. It's a lot of work. Um, I try to spread it out so that it, it fits within a normal work schedule because uh, I have my main job and then I have everything else that I do on the side. So I want my main job to be obviously 40 hours a week because that's what it has to be. Uh, I'm getting paid for 40 hours a week. So I have to make sure that I'm always committed to that. And I've committed to making sure that this YouTube video comes out every single week. Then there are all the other things that I do that don't necessarily have timelines that I probably have to assign some timelines to. But I'm trying to keep it all going. I'm trying to do it all myself, and when something like this happens, it shuts down almost everything. So that sucks. Um, I I know that I have to be easy on myself in order to take care of myself, but knowing that I can't do all of the things that I want to do and that I've been capable of doing in the past is a challenging thing to reckon with. So. I'm going to keep trying to get better. I'm going to try to be easy on myself um, without letting things fall too far behind. It's, at the moment, it's it's not an ideal situation and I hope that you'll bear with me. Um, I would like to ask for some patience. I feel like I've already asked for too much, but um, we don't get better at the rate we want to necessarily. So... Uh, I don't, I don't know how to end this video, really. That, I think, is all I really wanted to talk about. That sort of, it gives you a sense of what's going on in my life, why this video looks the way it does, and 
hopefully things will improve in the near future. Hopefully in the near future, I'll have the ability to either do the work myself or I'll have people helping me to do the work. The problem is that I don't have money to pay people to help me. I could maybe afford to bring someone in to help clean my place if COVID wasn't such an issue. And I did do that pre-COVID um, when my mental health was suffering. My good friend Gina is a cleaner. Uh, she has a company called Gina Cleans and she has been absolutely incredible uh, coming in here and helping me out. But with COVID, that's just not really as feasible anymore. I also have some other friends who've helped me out. Um, but again, it depends on whether or not COVID restrictions are in place. And right now, my mental health is at its worst and the COVID restrictions are at their worst. So it just, thing, things aren't really aligning. One of the things I would love to have is a video editor, uh, someone to help me with my social media, not to dictate what goes out, not to choose what goes out. I, I like to be able to micromanage that. And I certainly don't want to micromanage other people because I hate being micromanaged. So if there's something I want to micromanage, I do it myself. Um, but I would love to have someone editing my videos, for instance. That takes up probably a full day of my week, just uh, filming and editing a YouTube video. And then if I'm not feeling up to it, there's all the stress that goes along with it as well. If I could have someone hold a camera and film it and then edit it, it would be my ideal situation. But I mean, my, my YouTube channel brings in about $11 a month. So um, I can't afford to have someone do that for me unless they want to do it on like a a percentage basis of income and, and then I'd be hiring someone for like three dollars a month or something ridiculous like that which no one wants to do so at the moment there's really nothing that I can do about all of this but I just wanted to tell you where I'm at I've already spoken for 12 minutes which is long longer than my YouTube video needed to be so I guess I'm feeling a little bit better than I expected or something but um if I would give my usual outro, you know, if this is the kind of content you like to see, hit the like button. But if this is the kind of content you like to see, don't hit the like button because I don't want this to be my content in the future. Um, if you want to see more content like this, again, don't hit the like button. Don't hit the subscribe button because this is not what I'm going to be making in the future if I can help it. But if you want to see more content like some of my other videos, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. And until next time, and hopefully next time's better than this time, have a great day.